So it says here one, one colon x, which we actually means one over x here, uh, equals uh, x over 64 here. What number can replace x? Or what is x? Okay. Super cool. So what is x? So take a minute to think about this. Again, this is kind of a, a pre-algebra question in the sense that this is a proportion question, right? It's one over x, or or I can say um, I need one cup of water for flour. So how many how many cups of water would I need for like um, how many how if I had eight cups of flour uh, eight cups of water how much flour would you need, right? So it's kind of a proportion question in that way. So you can look at this question. Um, you can also think of this question as like a like a cross multiply kind of question. And that's what they did here. But we can isolate for variables and do all that stuff as well. So let's look at this problem and let's let's, let's take a minute to think about this problem. And we'll solve it. So this is your one over x equals x over sixty four. Again, what is so in order for me to solve this question, I actually would agree with the solution and we shall do the cross multiply that gives us this. So what it means when we do the cross multiply is that I make an X sort of shape here. And I'm going to multiply these two terms and these two terms together. So, so I'm going to group these two terms together. So they're going to make my left side and then I'm going to group uh, these two terms here. They're going to make my right side here. So again, my blue is that x times x, x times x equals x squared, right? So x squared here. Or maybe I'll draw it out for you here. So I'm going to do x times x. I'm going to do this red for the right side equals. I have here, this is 1 times 64. 1, 1 times 64. And then what I'm going to, I'm going to just do this in black now because I don't really care about the sides here. I've got x times x here is x squared right? And then 1 times 64 is 64, right? Which is good. And now what we have to do is we have to isolate for, we have to solve for x, right? But I have this exponent, exponent here. I have exponent of 2 here, right? So in order for me to get rid of that exponent, I'm going to have to square root both sides, right? So if I square root this side and I square root this side, I'm left with x equals. These two things cancel out and I have the root of 64, which means x will equal, what's the square root of 64? is plus or minus eight. And that's gonna be our answer for this question here. Plus or minus eight here. So uh, this here, they only put the positive solution and that's okay. I would have liked it if they put the negative solution as well. But what we're gonna have to do with this problem is we're gonna have to actually check it with the equation here. We're gonna have to check for both the positive and the negative, right? So let's, uh, let's check. We're gonna do a check in blue, let's say. So this is one over, uh, in this case, I'm gonna check for positive eight. So I'm gonna do a check for positive eight. And this here would be a check for negative eight, right? So positive would mean, I'm just subbing X into the, the, the equation here, which means I'm gonna have one over eight equals eight over 64, right? And so eight over 64, I can reduce this fraction, right? One over eight equals, I can divide both of these, uh, both of these, uh, s the numerator and the denominator by eight, right? So if I do divide by eight, divide by eight, and we get one, eight divided by eight is one, 64 divided by eight is eight, right? So again here, left side equals right side, which means my solution is correct for positive eight, right? But what about for negative eight? If I have one over negative eight equals, I have here negative eight over 64. So again here, what would my solution be, right? So let's look at this problem here. I can do the exact same thing and uh, divide uh, the numerator and the no denominator by eight, right? So if I divide this side by eight and divide by eight, I'm going to one over, this is negative eight, or I can say negative one over eight, right? Negative one over eight, doesn't matter where the negative goes. And then negative eight divided by eight here is negative one over 64. 64 divided by eight is also eight, which means that left side also equals right side. So in this case, my solution here is actually plus or minus eight is my solution here. P positive or negative eight. And in this case, the solution was only positive. So I'm gonna say that the solution here is correct, but they forgot to, uh, solution is, is missing negative eight, negative eight as its solution as well. Recall that if you, 
if if you that if you square root a number you must um you must also verify or it it contain it contain it contains it contains a positive and negative solution we would we would also need to check the check both solutions to see if it works with the equation so i'm gonna say i'm gonna do that i'm gonna say solution is um solution is correct but it's like missing something so i'm gonna say solution is correct in this case <laughs>